Hey guys, my name is Magnus Ligback. I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, and life coach. I'm super excited to invite you all to my new YouTube channel. After 21 years in the game, traveling the world with artists, working on some of the biggest Hollywood productions with actors, it's time to let you guys in, into my world. On my channel, you'll be getting my 21 years of experience working at the highest level with actors and artists, building superhero bodies. Uh, we're gonna be talking about what you should be eating, what you should be training, and some other fun stuff as well so super excited to have you hit that subscribe button and let's do this so I'm really excited to show uh, you guys what I'm eating in a day there's so many different diets out there it's truly a jungle and it's hard to know what's good and bad which diet that's the best for you and um, my philosophy is that life is all about balance we should obviously look at what makes us healthier and we should look at longevity but you should also live life what's the point of having a poor life you know eating chicken breast and broccoli all day long and not enjoy food and constantly you know obsess about what you're putting in your body so uh, my system is pretty simple since i'm eating carbs um, and i'll get back to this in another video since i'm eating I, I eat everything basically i try to eat every three hours in a day i try to eat about five meals a day and this is to keep blood blood sugar and insulin stable if you're on an all-fat diet and you don't eat carbs you might get away with eating less times per day but that's a different story in a different video i start in the morning with with a breakfast then i have a snack three hours later lunch another snack and then dinner if i wake up late i might go from breakfast straight into lunch have a snack eat dinner and then i'll do my morning snack uh, later in the afternoon so it really depends on what works for you how your schedule is looking and and um yeah what what you feel good about a few things that i'm trying to uh, be mindful of is to stay away from sugar and simple slash fast carbs as much as possible at least 17 meals out of 20 i'm trying to stay away from sugar and fast carbs my philosophy is that five meals a day that equals 20 meals in four days i think in four day cycles all the time 20 meals in four days i'm trying to make sure that 17 out of 20 meals are on point and three out of 20, I enjoy life. Or I might skip a meal, slip up, whatever whatever it might be. Three out of 20 won't be perfect, but I really try to eat some good, slow, complex carbs, a good fat source, a lot of vegetables, and a good source of protein with my other meals. So um, today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. And this is a typical day for me. And if I do one of these videos down the line, the food I'm making and my, my food choices will be completely different. I try to, uh, you know, eat what I enjoy to eat. Okay, so this is breakfast. Normally, um, my breakfast consists of eggs in one form or the other. So, could be an omelet, could be scrambled eggs, poached eggs, whatever, whatever you prefer. Today, I'm just making an omelet, and this is usually what I make in the morning. So, I normally uh, eat four eggs for breakfast. It's about six grams of protein in the average sized egg. So that puts me just about 20 grams of protein for breakfast. So four, four eggs, little salt, little pepper. I prefer to make my omelet in butter. There's nothing wrong with using avocado oil or olive oil if you prefer that, but I use butter. And I always put different things in my omelet. You know, it could be anything from smoked ham, sun-dried tomatoes, some cheese. Today, I'm gonna put some tomato, fresh basil, a little artichoke, and then I'm gonna just drizzle some, some pesto on top as well. So people always tell me that they don't have time to make breakfast in the morning, which is 
not really true if you ask me. Oh, everyone's got five minutes. If you scramble eggs, that's the fastest way of preparing re breakfast. Then you can have breakfast done in three minutes. This is gonna take some more time. I would say this takes about five to seven minutes if you're efficient. And since I'm eating eggs so much, I need to do this. I need to have fun with it. I need to put some pesto and artichoke and switch it up. Otherwise, you know, I get super boring after a while. So sometimes I really need to hide that egg flavor to be able to, to eat eggs every single day. Five minutes. There we go, done. My smoke juice. So I'm eating two snacks a day. Today I'm gonna be working half of the day. So I'm gonna prepare one snack to take with me. And since I'm on the go, I won't have much time. I'm gonna do protein shake today. So I'm gonna take 40 grams of protein and put it in a shaker. And um, then I'll just add water later. So it's now about three hours since I had breakfast. So I'm gonna do my protein shake. One thing though, I'm timing my workout with one of my snacks. I'll make sure to add some carbs to, to my snack. This is just pure protein, but it is really important to get some, some carbs and some protein in after your workout. So um, today I haven't been working out, but on the days I am, I'll make sure to add carbs to my shake. Having lunch with uh, my feet in the sand. Uh, life could be worse. Um, so I got grilled salmon, I got some potatoes and vegetables, and yeah, some good slow carbs and good lean protein. And so like in the house with the sandals on and then some outside like actually as grass. But I don't know. Okie so it's time for a second snack. It's been about three and a half hours since I had lunch. And normally, you know, I try to eat every three hours, but if it's two and a half or three and a half, life happens. You, you just gotta go with the, with the flow and your schedule. So I like to sip on some kombucha. I might do that about three to five times a week. Here we got some Greek yogurt. Un, unsweetened Greek yogurt is fantastic because it's, it's high in protein and it's fairly low in sugar. So always get the unsweetened one. And what I like to do is I chop up a pear or uh, today some apples, mix it in. I'll grab some walnuts or hazelnuts is another favorite, but walnuts, apple, and some cinnamon. This is a great snack, which tastes delicious. That's an awesome choice. Tonight I'm cooking uh, some organic grass-fed ribeye. I'm gonna make a nice little salad uh, with some radish, organic carrots, uh, kale, and fennel, baby arugula, and maybe spinach. Try to make sure that you know where your meat's from. I order mine, this particular cut's from Ohio, from a farm. I know where it comes from because I ordered straight from the farmer. So I got a couple of those sources. And if you if you you know do some research online, you can you can find direct sources so you know what you're getting. This is a great dinner. Um, it's actually much easier than it, than it looks. It's uh, organic grass-fed ribeye, uh, pickled garlic tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, which is my favorite. Goes well with any type of meat. Avocado and a nice salad with, with uh, everything from celery, fennel, radish, kale, um, mixed greens, and some roasted pine nuts. And the dressing is made from the base of olive oil, aged olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper. 